All right. Hey, everyone. Hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. Um, I know it's been a few weeks since we had one of these, been working on some some bigger projects coming out, but figured we, we dive into it today and take a look at kidding and bundling. Um, so basically, uh, kidding and bundling is the ability to take individual products from the supplier feed and put those together into a bundle. Maybe you're selling you know, a combination of items um, that you want to sell as a, a single unit. And FlexPoint allows us to build those out internally, um, set pricing for it. And also the cool part about uh, FlexPoint monitoring all of the original supplier information for these bundles is we can keep track on the total quantity available based on the individual components and make sure that we're only listing the amount of bundles that are available based on the quantity available of, of all the components. Um, it's pretty cool. I'll show a few examples of that here shortly. Um, and also another very common use case is maybe the supplier only has a, a single item and you want to sell that single item in a six pack or a 12 pack. And you can totally do that as well. And I'll show you some, some common examples there. So I'm about to jump into the, the dashboard here and show those examples. Um, if anyone has any questions on this or if I, uh, uh, anything isn't clear as I'm going through it, definitely post that in the chat or the QA section and uh, I'll get that answered for you. So let's go ahead and dive into FlexPoint. All right, so I've got uh, my account pulled up here and let's, let's take a look about the process of going and building some bundles here. Um, the first thing we'll wanna do is, uh, we'll do this in our product catalog page. Um, so what we'll do under the actions button here off to the right, we'll go and click create new bundle. And here's where we give our bundle a SKU and a title. Um, so I know I want to make kind of a, a water sports bundle here. You know, it's kind of summer's winding down a little bit. Maybe I want to do some, some end of summer sales here. Um, so I'm thinking about maybe doing a combination of a tow rope, um, a, a tube to tow behind that boat, and some life jackets. Keep everyone safe. Um, so let's just call this water sports bundle one, two, three. So you can create your own SKU here, um, whatever you'd like, and then also a bundle. So we'll call this water sports tube bundle, or we'll, we'll call it water sports tube package. Make it nice and simple. So we'll go ahead and click next. And the first thing that pops up here is the bundle option. Um, so let's start with the, the tube option name, right? So that's gonna be the um, the option name, and then we're going to create the values here when we add the component SKUs. Um, so what we want to do is look up the tube SKU. So it's actually the life jacket. Let's look up tube SKU here. Here we go. So we've got a, a three-person uh, tube here. So let's go ahead and add that. And the option name, let's just call this three-person tube. And then you can also set the quantity of this. So I'll get into this when we get to the, the life jackets. Um, but I could say, you know, I could set a multiple quantity here where if they select this option, we'll actually get two of this tube. So I'll go ahead and, and set it as one. And then let's add another bundle option. Let's call this life jacket. And we'll add a component skew here. And then just select that. And then this is actually an adult life jacket. So let's just call that adult. And then actually I wanna offer three, um, three life jackets to go along with this. So whenever they select this option on the bundle, they're actually gonna get three of this component SKU. So that's what this option quantity means is when that's ordered, how many of that component SKU are part of this bundle. And then let's add one more for tow rope. So we'll get the SKU for that one and search for it here. And we'll select our tow rope. And let's just call this, it's a 60 foot tow rope. So let's just call it 60 foot tow rope. And <clears throat> so these are the, the three components of the bundle that I wanna make. So what I could do, I could just say next, 
and it's going to show me a, a preview of the variance. So since there's only one option um, per or one value per option here, it's just going to create one single variant. But if I go back here, maybe I want to give an option on the tubes. Maybe I want to offer a, a four person tube as well. So let's go ahead and select this. And here's a, a four person tube. So let's go ahead and add that as an option here. We'll call that four person tube. And then I also want to offer, uh, maybe it's not gonna be adults using this, maybe, maybe it's for my kids. So maybe I wanna offer an option to select um, some child life jackets instead. Then I want to offer three of those. And then we'll just stick with the single tow rope here because there's no need to change that out. So here what I'm going to offer in this bundle is two options for the tube, two options for the life jacket, and then just a single option for the tow rope to complete our bundles here. So now that when I hit next, we're actually technically in flex point going to create a, a variant option for all of the combinations that are available. So it's gonna create a SKU for all of the available options. Um, <clears throat> so we have our first SKU here, uh, which is gonna create it off of that, that parent SKU that I created up here. And it's also going to recreate a title based on the components here, but you can edit this if you'd like to make it a little bit more clear, uh, but we're gonna do that based on the, the option values that you create when you're creating the components above. So here's our three person, adult life jacket, 60 tow rope. And then we have our three person child life jacket, 60 foot tow rope, then our four, per, four person and so on. So it's gonna create a variant for the each available option or combination of options that you create on the bundles. And now when I click next, it's gonna say, all right, are you ready to go? So let's create these bundles. And now it's been created here. We've got our water sports tube package. And just like a normal parent variant product that you see in FlexPoint, you see our, our parent SKU here, and then all of our available variants down below here. So you can see our options for life jacket, our tow rope options, and our tube options on each of these variants that are created. Any questions so far? Again, if anything comes up, definitely post it in the chat or the Q&A section here. And then just like any other product in FlexPoint, uh, you can customize this further once it's created. Uh, you can add images um, to your bundle to, to better show that. Uh, you can fill out the parent data and description um, to, to populate here. Maybe we want to say, yeah, add some information, you know, um, three life jackets included, 60 foot rope. Um, to, to something like that, just to better populate. And you can also add a category, category for this. So I'm gonna put this in marine and water sports and save the information that I've done here. And if we look at this, <clears throat> these items here, we can see the, the available quantity. Some of these are three and some of them are six. And that goes into what I was saying about how FlexPoint will keep track of the components used and only allow for purchase the amount that are available based on that item. So if we go down here, we can see uh, the components here and three of this SKU, um, there's only 20 available. So if I'm selling these in groups of three, the most I could technically sell would be 18 of these. So 18 divided by three would be six. So that's why there's only six available for these bundles with a child life jacket. And if we look at the adult life jacket bundle, there's only 11 available um, and we're selling three of them. So that would be nine, uh, which brings us to a total quantity available of three. Since that's the lowest quantity available component SKU, it won't let us oversell it um, <clears throat> due to that component SKU, even though there's a hundred available of the tow rope and 38 of the tube. So that's a really cool feature to keep track of all those component SKUs. And then by default, our pricing is going to go off of the, uh, you know, if you're basing your pricing off a of cost, what it's gonna do is sum up the costs of all three 
components and do your markups off of, off of that kind of combined cost value. Um, you also can come in, you know, if maybe that you want to offer a bit of a discount there, because I know this is, this is going to be my end of summer sale package. Um, <clears throat> you can always come in and modify this pricing manually um, on this item, or you can set up a pricing rule based on the SKU or <clears throat> however you'd like to do that within the, the internal pricing rules. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to offer this, you know, at, you know, let's say this is a deep discounted summer deal. So we'll set this list price to, to $350 for this one. And then you can modify them for the rest as well. <clears throat> so now we see this in, in FlexPoint. If we go back to our, our products page here, you can see these, these bundles created. And <clears throat> once they're in the product catalog, just like any other product, you can select them. Um, Queue them up to create a listing to your, your sales channel. Um, I've already gone ahead and pre-built uh, a few of these here already and have them published over to Shopify. Just kind of show what this would look like <clears throat> on a sales channel. So here's a, a similar package I created. Um, so you can see the tow rope option. And we've got our life jacket. I can choose child or adult. And then we have our three person or four person tube here. You can see since each variant SKU could be priced a little bit differently based on the items in the component, the pricing does vary based on which options we select here. And then you can see I went ahead and added in FlexPoint all the component SKU images so you can see an idea of what products you're getting when you place this order. And then going even further, when an order is placed for these items, uh, what happens, right? Because the the supplier isn't going to know what this bundle is or this package or you know really what you're doing there. They they're looking for an order for for their SKUs, right? So FlexPoint actually, when you get an order for this, <clears throat> here's one here. We see the the water sports bundle SKU as the light item, and it's actually broken out into each component SKU from the supplier. Um, so for this package I created, actually did a two pack of of uh, life jackets here, so that's why it shows a, a ship to zero out of two. Um, but we've got our single tow rope, our single four person tube, and our two pack of child life jackets here. And then when we go to process this order, it's going to submit a PO for two of this life jacket, a single of this four person, and a single of this tow rope to the supplier for fulfillment. Um, FlexPoint you know, can monitor that and break it down. Or even if this, uh, bundle was created for multiple supplier SKUs or, or you know, different suppliers um, can fulfill this based on your routing rules. It's going to split that order just like any other item or any other order coming in that could potentially be sourced from, from multiple sources. So once it comes back in and looks at these component SKUs, it's essentially the same process as, as any other order coming through, going through that. The, the cool part is FlexPoint monitors those components and keeps track of that keeps your quantity in sync with how many are available and make sure you're not overselling there. Uh, I had a good question come in. Um, do the images of all the SKUs in the bundle get added automatically or will we need to add all the images to the bundle manually? Um, right now they don't come in automatically. I do know there are some updates coming to kitting and bundling soon. Um, I know there's been a, a big request for being able to do this in bulk which actually might have gotten released um, earlier today as I was preparing for this one, or it might be coming out in the next week or two. I saw a sneak preview of it last week. Um, <clears throat> but being able to do this in bulk is coming soon. Um, and then uh, Jordan, to answer your question, right now the, the images you will need to add manually to it. So you can see on this, this bundle here, uh, we have them on the component SKUs, but it's not actually added into the, the bundled item. Um, so that is something that will need to be done manually, but I do believe we have a bulk process coming for that also soon that I'll keep an eye out for, for you. All right. Does anyone else have any, any other questions in regards to bundles or, or what we can do with these kits? Um, I do have another example I want to show you is, is the multi-pack essentially. Oh, uh, can you elaborate on being able to do this in bulk? Um, so what I'm talking about in bulk is the bulk creation of bundles. 
So if you've got, you know, a thousand bundles that you want to create and you know the component SKUs of each <clears throat> and the option values of each um, laid out in a specific spreadsheet where once we release this, we'll have that, that format available for you to, to show that. Uh, but essentially, you'll be able to upload that spreadsheet and then FlexPoint will, will create the bundles just like um, we did here in the manual process, but be able to do that instead of going through one by one and creating each bundle, um, the bulk process will handle that creation based on the, the file upload. Does that make sense? Cool. <clears throat> so I just wanna show another example, a uh, common use case here is you wanna sell multi-pack of the item, but the supplier only has um, a single of it. Um, so let's take this uh, <clears throat> uh, Rinko boot and plug pack here. Well, this is our value pack. Let's uh, let's find something else here. Uh, rod holder. So this is a single rod holder, but we want to maybe sell this in a four pack, right? Um, so we'll take the skew there. <clears throat> we'll go back up to actions and create a new bundle. Uh, I'm actually just going to take this skew and put four pack at the end. So we're really just going to do a single option here. We're going to search for the skew and add it. Rod holder four pack. And we'll put a quantity of four and then just go through next without adding anything else. And now this is a four pack of that individual SKU here. So we can see this SKU, option quantity of four, <clears throat> and then total available quantity three, which makes sense because the component SKU um, has a, a total quantity of 12 there. So it's another quick, easy way to, to offer multi-packs for items that, that maybe the supplier doesn't um, automatically build out for you or have readily, readily available. Um, and then again, just like the, the full bundle there, when this gets sent to the supplier for order fulfillment, we know this individual SKU um, that we've created is a four pack of that. So we'll send it to the supplier as a quantity of four for fulfillment. All right. Any other questions so far about bundling or kidding and how to create these or any other maybe use cases I didn't touch on that um, you want to take a look at an example for? Go ahead, post that in the Q&A or chat. I'll give you all a few minutes to, to type that up. All right, let's see any more questions come in for uh, bundles, but if there's any other general FlexPoint questions or anything you need help with, I'd be happy to answer those now also. Um, if not, we can uh, kind of head out for, for the day and let everyone get some of their lunchtime back. But yeah, if there's any other questions, definitely post them in the chat and, and I'll get some here in just a minute.
All right, looks like there's there's no other questions here. Um, so we'll let everyone go. Uh, definitely check out the, the other webinars coming up. I think we're gonna have one on owned inventory and a few other topics lined up, uh, but we're pretty much gonna be doing these weekly, um, give or take, uh, missing a few here and there for, for different events we have going on. Uh, but yeah, we'll be on these pretty much weekly through the rest of the year, uh, touching base on different topics. Some new features we'll be having coming out soon, we'll go over as well. Um, yeah, appreciate everybody for joining this week. If you have any questions, again, uh, feel free to reach out to support at flexpoint.com or schedule a support call uh, with our team if you have any questions or need any help in the Flexpoint software. And then by the end of the week, we'll have this recording up on YouTube so you can review it and go over uh, creating bundles uh, the way we did here on the webinar. All right, hope everyone has a great rest of your Wednesday and we'll see you next week.